Okay, and I'm going to scroll through some of my... I'll just go and I'll play something for some of my settings just so you can hear what what it can do. These are all preset. Well, a lot of them are presets or presets that I've edited to my own taste. <laughs> Here's kind of an envelope filter setting, it makes it sound liquidy. setting there's an octave pedal simulator that I added to the distortion so it kind of sounds like if you think of the paranoid solo that song paranoid black set <laughs> so this is what I used for my big mouse strikes again video the cover is Smith's cover it's an acoustic simulator and it just simulates the feel of an acoustic guitar so <laughs> Oh, this is kind of like a tremolo type volume setting. And you can adjust how quickly it uh, just goes back and forth, so you, you can choose how quickly you want the volume to fade in and out. <laughs> tones depending on what you're playing. Uh, Probably one of the weirdest features of this pedal was would be the auto yaw where it makes this yaw sound. <laughs> And the effects start over again at 41, and they scroll through, and so that's pretty much it. I hope it didn't sound bad, because YouTube compresses its videos, but...
I think you get a basic idea of how well it works, and I think it's as far as if you're don't if you're short on money and like I am and can't afford lots of expensive pedals, I guess this is a really cool thing. And they make the other ones, I think the RP100, where it's just got extra things built in. And there's one of the higher end of the RPs actually has a uh, expression pedal built in, so you can you don't have to worry about buying your own. So that's pretty much it.